Thank you for joining me today. So I've had to put, I hope you can't see the mess on the bed with all the stuff that I've been unboxing recently. So I had to put the ring light on. Um, I've got a little ring light from FabFitFun. So I've not got my big ring light because I'm in this other room. Just got my little tripod and the, the phone ring light which just attaches. So I hope the kind of, the light is bright enough. It's about half past six, but it's getting kind of, it's been lovely and sunny today, but I'm noticing it's getting darker earlier. So today I have the 25 days of Christmas, the advent calendar, clean beauty advent calendar from Holland and Barrett. So isn't that cute? That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I love the box. So you undo the ribbon and then you 25 days of clean beauty. And it's little boxes this time. Where last time it was just a kind of old fashioned day, you know, you, you pull the, the number and then um, you kind of plastic packaging. So it's it's all boxes this time, which is great. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. And then I'm going to pop it here beside me so that I don't have to concentrate on trying to hold the box and unbox it. So I'm just going to take them out one at a time. And then no doubt it will probably collapse on me. So anyway, so if I was if I was any good at editing, I could edit out all the bits, but I'm rubbish. As I say, it's the end of the day, so I am looking a bit worse for wear, so you please excuse me. So for day one, we've got Up Circle Eye Cream with repurposed maple and coffee extract. Now, I've used Upcycle before. Now, this is a downside to the ring light, isn't it? I've used that before, um, the Up Circle Eye Cream. Um... I haven't used that up circle eye cream before. I'm telling you, Fibs, I've used this scrub before. It's very good. Um, number two, I actually need eye cream, so I'm always delighted to get an eye cream. And we find number two. There's a couple of big boxes in here. So I watched um, Bean Briony unboxing hers. I think she got sent it in PR. Um, and I still can't remember what was in it. I'm rough idea, but so there you go, day number two. So it's still quite exciting, actually. And this is quite a good calendar if you wanted to make your own advent calendars. And day number two is Fush, Fushy, 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 yeah, really good hair oil. There we go. So that is, how much is that? So I don't know if I said, but this calendar was £45. I got a free postage and packaging and I think it's worth about £120. So fantastic value for money. Day number three. At least I can't forget what days I've done because I'm pulling them all out and leaving them out. So this is Sukin Super Green Detoxifying Facial Scrub. And um, Sukin's a really, really good brand. Um, I've used that before and you can pick it up from Holland and Barrett. But I think I first tried it in the beauty boxes. So I'm delighted to try anything Sukin. It's really good. Day number four. I think my friend Tracy is getting this one as well um, and Lynn might be getting it too but I think they're keeping them as surprises so I don't know if they'll watch. Um, so this is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. Now um, I think I've spoke about this before, I find this tonic really really um, harsh on my skin but the lovely lady said on my channel that she uses it like a couple of times a week so that's what I started to do with that um, rather than trying to use it every day because it just felt too kind of harsh from the skin. So day number five. Everybody's skin is different to how it reacts, isn't it? Day number five. Ooh, it's a wet brush. I've got um I've got a wet brush that I think I got from Latest in Beauty. Um and it's the same brand so it's wet brush, go green, it's a mini detangler and it says Intel Flex bristles allows for 45% less breakage, 55% less effort and 10% happier hair. So that's it there. So it's quite small. Um, so I might pass that on to Freya or Lachlan. Um, be quite good for their advent calendars, a wee brush. This is when I have to start remembering, right, what day were you on? What day is that? So day number six. Ta-da! 
But yeah, this was by far my favourite advent calendar from all the advent calendars last year. This one in a really, um, well, the ones that I paid for. I love the Look Fantastic one I got as a gift and I also love the number seven one. But the ones that I bought myself, this was my favourite. Natura Siberica, um, natural certified um, Tega Daily Protection Hand Cream. I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. I like the brand Natura Siberica. I've had a few products from them. So number seven. So yeah, of all the, all the um, advent calendars that I bought to try last year, this was definitely my favorite. Um, Aroma Works. Um, Made in the UK, 100% natural home fragrance with soil wax candle. There you go. So I think this soil wax is supposed to be a bit very lavender. Very nice. I think it might give Steve a headache though. I think the soil wax is supposed to be a bit better than the regular wax. Just because of how the chemicals and things. But I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Um, Walida 24 hour hydrating facial lotion. And that's 30 mils, And it says cactus. There we go. Yeah, so what does that say? Um, delivers light, long-lasting hydration to super hydrated, thirsty skin. Uniquely formulated to awaken your skin so it feels refreshed, soft and smooth. Quickly absorbed. Dermologically tested for skin safety. The prickly pear cactus is a nature's expert in storing moisture. Thanks to its high contents of water binding compounds, um, it helps reawaken your skin's own ability to store moisture. So there you go. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Day number nine. Oh, day number nine's a big one. Yeah, it's a biggie. And, oh, Dr. Organic, Organic Guava, refreshing and exotic body wash. So 250 mils. So I absolutely love this brand. And as you know, I love the shower gels and body washes. So I'm happy to see that in there. And Dr. Organic is a fantastic brand and it smells amazing as well. So day number 10. Day number 10. Oh, what's this? What is this? Eden Perfumes Portobello. Oh, a little kind of spray. Yeah. Um, not the best amazing day but hey ho it's cruelty free and vegan it's always nice to try a new perfume isn't it so day number 11 here we go i'm trying to go quickly through this so you're not getting bored oh q and a apple aha exfoliating gel so apple aha is a naturally occurring alpha hydroxy acid it gently exfoliates improving the skin texture there you go. I love the packaging on that. And I have tried a Q&A before. I think I got it in this box. It was a lip oil. Um, it was really nice. As I say, it's really exciting when you get to try different brands, is it? Isn't it? Day 12 is a wee one. It's a little one. Day number 12. Oh, it's a pair of tweezers. And I never, ever mind getting tweezers in a box because they always come in handy. Although you can hardly see... You can hardly see my eyebrows anyway. <laughs> I have to get them dyed and they're overdue being dyed. So I'm just doing them myself and trying to hope I get them right. Day number 13. I speak nicely to my sister. Day number 13. Oh, it's Faith in Nature Dragon Fruit Shampoo Bar. I love the Faith in Nature. Um, but the for some reason the conditioner makes my head itch. So... I've given Brandon all my shampoo and conditioners. Day number 14. What is in here? Uh, oh, Ayumi Turmeric and Bergamot Face Mask. Now, I've had one of these before. It's a really, really nice face mask. Yep, Ayumi is a fantastic brand. And um, it is one of the brands that you will pick up if you're in Holland and Barrett. Day number 15. I'm going to try and put these all back in the box. See if I can work it out. Day number 15. And it is, oh, oh, that wasn't impressed with this last year. It's just toothpaste, Eco Denta Super and Natural Oral Care um, with hemp seed oil, fights plaque, reduces sensitivity, strengthens teeth and gums. Oh, the one last year was coconut. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what this is going to taste like. 
Might be a bit better than last year's coconut one. Anyway, anywho, anywho. Day number 16. Here we go. We're getting there, aren't we? My kettle broke today, so Steve went to Asda to pick me up a new one. So I had a coffee, but once I finish this, I'm going to get another coffee. Keep me awake. Now, this is Oleus Rejuvenating 100% Natural Cold Pressed Jojoba Oil. Natural daily support for dry, rough hair and skin. There we go. I'd probably use that on my hair. Um, not a fan of using oils on my face. Day number 17. I do use them at night, but sometimes I leave my skin feeling horrible. So this one's wrapped up. What can it be? Day number 17. Oh, it's like a little roller. Psychic Sisters. So it's like one of these little kind of JD rollers. Um, really good for puffy eyes. Um, and they always seem to stay cold for some reason. Um, but I think they stay even more cold if you keep them in the fridge. So they're great if you've got any puffiness. And I think some people use them when they're kind of putting serums on and things in their skin. Um, yeah, I don't. Just because it takes me too long to put I hate flapping around. Um, day number 18. And what have we got? Oh, I love Naturals Tonka Bean and Myrrh Body Wash. So it's vegan, it's 98% naturally derived, and it's a 100% recycled bottle, which I love to see. Um, and if you can actually see that, it is a horrible kind of murky looking. It's not my camera that's doing that, yeah. It's kind of a, a murky, clear liquid. Um, I'm sure it's lovely. Give it a wee snuff. Mm, that smells nice. Not overly strong, but the, the tonka bean has a lovely, lovely smell to it. And we are on day number 19. Da, da, da. What is this? A glass nail file. Now, these just do nothing for me. They leave me cold. Um, I'm never even sure, like, if you're supposed to use them. You know, if they're really damaging, like the metal ones. They say the metal ones are really damaging um, for your nails. So, yeah, not a massive fan of that one. But it's not been too bad with things like, you know, fillers and things. It's a proper glass nail file, so it, it's, it's good quality. And day number 20, D Disciple Balancing Mist. So what does it say about this? Hormone and skin balancing geranium water with healing, protecting copper. Perfect for long flights and late nights. And actually, <laughs> for a menopausal woman, it might be good for when I get my hot flush. <laughs> Just spray it on my face, right? Starting to run out of space. Day 21. The colours of the box are lovely as well. They kind of. Oh, it's an Eco Tools and it's a multitasking brush. And. Does it tell you? It's cruelty free and vegan. Made from materials that are ethically sourced, compostable, recyclable, and biodegradable. My bristles are super soft and cruelty free. But there you go, for every 100 products um, sold, they plant a tree as well, so that's a good reason to, to buy it, isn't it? Day number 22. Oh, it's a Dr. Pawpaw and, what is it? Dr. Pawpaw Limited. Oh, it was the, the wrong way around. Scrub and nourish. Oh no, it's not the wrong way around. This is a double-sided one. Um, that's what it is. It is a nourish on one side. I remember seeing Brian opening this. I do pay attention. And, oh, oh, yeah, oh, I don't know. I don't know which one's a scrub, so I'm not gonna dip my fingers in it in case I give it away. Um, anyway, I imagine this side doesn't actually tell you. 
It's a wee bit disappointing. It could actually tell you this is a scrub and this is the nourish because on the back it's just got their details. You know. So yeah, one side's a scrub and one side's a nourish and actually if you get this advent calendar and you look at it you'll realise why I was kind of struggling without dipping my fingers in to tell you which was which. But that's good, especially in kind of winter time. So, so number 23, we're getting close to the big day. I love advent calendars that give you a day 25. Oh, this is a big one. So it's a Holland and Barrett own make face wash with dermatologically tested suitable for sensitive skin aloe vera with cucumber extract. So 150 mils and it's a big one. So that's pretty good. And day number 24. What is in it? Last year we got a reusable cotton bud. Yeah, didn't use that. That was the only thing I think it kind of wasn't a massive fan of. Optisaran Sleep Better Pillow Mist. So this is a pillow mist. So I have these oils as well. I've never tried the pillow mist, but this is one of these mists that smells kind of lavender-ish. Jasmine, sandalwood and lavender and you spray it on your pillow and before you go to sleep, although don't do what I do and spray it until your pillow is saturated and you need to turn it around. Um, so that'll help you sleep on Christmas Eve, guys, if you're struggling. Pop that on your pillow if you're so excited for Santa. And, and I done. Last but not least. Last but not least. I love having a terrible memory because I can't remember what's in. In day number 25. And I actually can't get into day number 25. <laughs> hey ho, how do you open it? I've actually done not too bad. I've managed to get most of the boxes open without breaking them. So day number 25 is... Evolve Organic Beauty Bio Retinal Gold Mask. There we go. So I've had the Evolve um, Chocolate Mask before, or Coco, I think it was. But this is a gold mask. Wow. Look at the colour of that. Is that not amazing? Wow. So you're literally kind of getting gold on Christmas Day. So that was the 25 days of the Holland and Barrett Advent Calendar. Um, what did you think? It's £45, so it's on. It's not one of the. It's one of the lower price Advent calendars in terms of beauty. It is mainly skincare, but that is what you you get with the Holland and Barrett. That is, they're not known for makeup, so I wasn't expecting any makeup. I was expecting it to be like last year, and all skincare. But skincare really kind of appeals to me more at the moment than um, makeup does. Go through wee phases. Um, is this something that you would consider purchasing? Um, what's your favourite item? Let me know. Um, I don't know what my favourite item is. There's a few that I really like. Um, but it might be the gold mask actually. And the cam dove and the wet brush. Even though I might give that to Freya because it's tiny. But it's cute for your handbag. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys.